Hey YouTube, Matt and Roy back again. Today, I thought I'd give you, show you guys this uh, JVST stereo system. Uh, we actually use this downstairs in our house, and I think it's actually pretty unique. Uh, I picked this up at a garage sale um, probably about four or five years ago for five dollars, and it still works just fine. This is a JVC. I can find the uh, information about it here. I'm trying to remember where they actually have the uh, model number. There you go. It's an M. I don't know if you'll get that. <laughs> Let me turn off the light. There we go. It's an MX77M. And this dates from 1992. This was when they still really made uh, stereo systems well. Um, I would say that we've we use this at least five or ten times a year. It's not used that often, but enough. So let me go over some of the controls on here. First of all, I'll show you it has two cassette decks. Um, both of these are fully computerized. Some of the functions there. Got high speed dubbing, CD direct recording, that's nice. That's if you want to record directly from a CD. You can put a CD in the CD player, push that button, and it'll sync up with the blank cassette. Uh, record mute. That one is the pause button for that side. And it does have Dolby B noise reduction, just B, not C. And reverse mode, so it's got automatic reverse on it. And up here we have the controls for the radio, um, memory presets. Um, this is also where you adjust the uh, graphic equalizer, and that's pretty neat. If you take a look here, you can actually, with these buttons here, you can actually move the different sections of the graphic equalizer. So the mid-range, the treble, and then of course the bass on the uh, left-hand side there. Right under here are the functions. It has a built-in tape deck built-in AM FM tuner, CD player, and then of course it has two inputs. It actually has a phono and it also has a VCR or they call it DAT which is digital audio tape. Something fairly uh, rare, they didn't really make too, too long, but 92 was when it was really popular. Now, if I move over here, you can see the other display is mainly for the CD player. It also tells you the time and, of course, tunes the radio. Some more of the functions there. Uh, sleep timer. Different timers you can set for different functions, like when to wake up. So you could use this as an alarm clock. Uh, cancel and memory set. Over here, your basic tuner functions. FM AM and uh, FM mute. Now, down here, we have the CD player functions. We have... Um, Edit. I'm not exactly sure what that one's used for. Uh, side AB is for the um, cassette decks. Memory and call. So these are basically all your memory functions for the cassette and the CD player. And then of course the uh, play mode. Over here you have the eject. Um, this is actually a six CD changer and a single CD player. So you can actually have a total of seven CDs in here. And there's your basic uh, CD functions right there. So let's go ahead and do a demonstration of the CD. I'm going to be using the same one I did for the uh, Creative Lab speakers, seeing as this uh, song, Sandrift, was made specifically for our class, and nobody's claimed it yet, so it should be safe. So to play a CD in this, you have to choose the CD section. And again, there are two ways to do to play a CD in this older stereo. You can do the single one, which you'll push this open and close, and it works just like a regular CD player would. Or you push this eject, and it pops out a CD case that actually holds six CDs. Now when you, this is the kind you'd like you'd see in a car. I Unfortunately I can't open it because I can't do this one-handed. 
but you can see it holds six CDs. But for now, we're just going to use the single one. If I can get this CD out, and I'll play you guys a little sample. I believe it's track seven. Yeah. So here we go. forward a little bit. Okay. So you get a general idea of how it sounds. And these speakers are actually really cool. These are actually uh, two-way speakers. Uh, even though they're only two actual physical speakers, there's, you can see uh, two in each, so that makes a total of four. And they're actually hooked up individually, as you can see. There are actually four cables going up. So two cables for here, and then two for the top speaker. So it has amazing sound. It actually kind of works like a, a four, like a, a four speaker setup. And you get a lot of bass, which I wish I could show you guys, but Unfortunately, that's about the only thing I have that I can play that YouTube won't mark as a copyright infraction. Anyway, so this was just a review of my JVC MX77M uh, component stereo system. Now, I call it component because it, does, it doesn't have separate components, but that's what JVC calls it on their website. So, I hope you guys like these uh, videos. Please like and subscribe, and have a blessed day, everyone.